Yeah, hi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, early morning AEW Dynamite review. I was just, this was so boring. What the fuck was that? Oh, but the show is fantastic, you know. It's a lot of good matches, but no, but you know, just what match? What good? How are they good? There was no stories. All these people are just jobbers. No character. No fucking actual logic and reason. No reason at all. Look what the the the, the acclaimed and whatever the fucking stu so stupid tag match. And we got a random world title match for no reason. Why was that the main event? Why was why did John Moxley defend the title? Oh, because he, cause some power rate. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know how he got it. But again, that's like with that analogy, it's like fucking back in the day. Let's say this: like Stone Cold defending the title against freaking Taka Mishinoku. Let's be honest here. That's what the fucking match felt like. Fucking a. Grabbing Coca Cola, drinking my nasty spine, missing bitches. Go, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Cheers, motherfuckers. Good stuff. I needed that. This show is not good stuff at all. So the show started with the Jack and Peachy Society. Uh, so yeah, we start off like, listen, I like Jericho, but this is like one of the most boring ways to start. Like, I understand the sure, I don't mind starting a match, but at least like if there's like a build or story or whatever, right? But fuck. Yeah, this was boring there. Um, so the first match was the Blackpool Combat Club, or whatever they call themselves, freaking... Yeah, it's fucking Claudio or Cesaro and that Wheel of Utah faggot versus Jericho and the bo other boring guy, the fucking, what's his name, Daniel Garcia. Because now they've been having a little dissension with each other, but now they made up or whatever the fuck, because I don't fucking know what it is. Again, how does that make any sense? Like, whatever, I don't know. Anyways, so Claudio and Wheeler, the fucking boring fucks from this stupid boring club whatever the fuck they call themselves. They defeated Jericho and and Dar Garcia. Jericho loses. I understand, like, Jericho hasn't really lost the match, I guess, but it's like, I don't know, kind of made him look weak there. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Especially, it kind of feels like 50-50 shit, you know what I mean? I don't know what to tell you. We see the a vignette of the elite getting erased from history. Get it? Because, you know, oh, they were not on there. I guess they're returning. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. Jericho is so angry. And because he's so angry, he's issuing an open challenge to any ROH champion next week. How does that make any sense? Shouldn't the guy be fucking angry? The guy lost? I don't know. Shouldn't you want to fucking face one of them? I don't fucking know. Wouldn't that make more sense that you, like, fuck it, I want my revenge, I want to face Cesaro and Wheeler Yuta. Like, why does he want to face some boring jobber for former ROH champion no one fucking has heard of, ever heard of? Let's be for real. And it's probably, it's probably some bullshit where, oh, a debuting fucking shit wrestler. Come on, I like Jericho, man. You gotta do better, bruh. But then you got Sammy Guevara, who's cut to one of the most lamest and la no charis no lot non charismatic problems. Like, yeah, I'm gonna beat your ass, Brian Danson, like I did you before. And it sounded the most gayest and less, less imitating way possible, for fuck's sakes. Swerve in our glory defeated FTR for the number one contenders of the tag titles. Shouldn't the fucking Swerve guys already be the number one contenders? I don't fucking know. Oh, but after you want to be champions, or I don't fucking care. I really don't give a fuck. This match, match was boring. I don't fucking spark me like, oh, how could you not like these people? Like, no, because they're boring. What's their character? What's FDR's character? Oh, because we're the greatest tag team in the world. Great, a generic tag team that says we're the best in the world. Blah 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 blah. Like I give a fuck. Fuck off. And Sword of Night Glory, who fucking cares? They only just care about glory holes, I'm guessing. Then MJF 
comes out again. He's act. Listen, here's my problem, and I'm gonna talk about this. Like, I'm. This is the most retarded thing I'm seeing. MJF is a face. MJF is a heel. He's a tweener. What's? I'm sorry. Can you make it make sense? This is why tweeners have never worked. Or like, what are you? Oh, the devil has arrived. If you're in a face, why are you the devil? And not just that. Why are you acting like a baby face? Why, like, again, this is why tweeners have never really worked. You need to either establish what you are. The only tweener I can say that only worked ever was probably like Brock Lesnar. I don't know if he's like a tweener currently. I'm not, I'm not sure. Tweeners have never worked. And they will never work really because it's just confusing as all hell. Like, how, what, is MJF the anti-hero? What, what is it? He's the devil. That means he's the bad guy. And yeah, he's acting like a good guy sometimes. Like, I love the Oh, man, I love your fans, even though I crap on you. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? This is why, I'm sorry, like, I, I do think MJF, like, compared to everybody, has something. But that's the fucking problem. Unless it's the shit writing or what the fuck they're doing. Wow, this guy is not making sense of what the fuck he's doing. And like, what a joke. What a joke. After returning, the guy should already, should be like, I mean, but the thing is, that luster was already gone. After that pseudo pipe bomb shit he did, you didn't mention him or whatever. Why should we fucking remember? And obviously he fucking was ruined with the punk shit. But like, regardless, whatever the fuck it is, you, the luster is gone with this guy. Like it or not, the luster is gone. He, he's just the guy that he's like, apparently his character, he wants to be a WWE guy, but it's an AEW. Isn't that supposed to be like a heel? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I don't know how, how does this make any sense? The luster is gone, people. MJF is kind of like damaged good at this point. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm not saying he's a terrible guy on the mic, but just like, come on. I can see the guy is trying. I'll give him that. But it's just like, who really cares? Because, like, you're not making sense. This show makes no sense. I'm sorry. It doesn't make sense. This is why I don't like this shit. Anyways, MJF says that when he defeats John Moxley at full gear, he would do it respectfully clean and won't use his diamond ring and vows to become world champion. Given that, okay, maybe, oh, maybe he actually does do it and that's why he's a heel. But I'm sorry, like, then act like a heel. Act like a heel. But you said he would, like, you know... Okay, I'll promise you that, or whatever, but then he ends up doing it. Don't act like a baby face. Like, it's not, it's not smart. It's not trying to, it's not a good swerve. It's just retarded. I'm sorry, it's retarded. The Strokely Hathaway comes out and offers to have the firm rough up Moxley at, ahead of full gear. And MJ tells Strokely, No, I want Moxley 110% full gear so Mox and his fans can't deny the MJ is better than Mox and when he wins. And blah, blah, blah. And I don't care. I don't care about the firm. What is the firm? Who the fuck cares about these people? Why is this happening? Why is all the little ascension between this fucking duo? Even though aren't they supposed to be with them? Like, cause what was the point of the fucking all out show then? What was the point? Shouldn't they at least be together? Like, I don't know. It makes no fucking sense. It makes no sense at all. No logic. This is why I complain about this shit. Matt Tarvin challenges Wardlow for a match with TNT title at Rampage. I'm just thinking to myself, who the fuck is Matt Tarvin? Who fucking cares? All I care is, like, I see Maria. It's like, Maria, you might as well just be a stripper at this point. Because, God, this shit is garbage. And you might be more of a... I don't know. She's... That's the funny thing. She acts like a stripper on Instagram. But, oh, that's the meaning. Trump raped me. Even though he, he wanted to be an apprentice. But whatever. Brian Davidson defeats Sammy Guevara in a boring... In a typical critical wrestling match. Who gives a fuck? Oh yeah, how can I, oh yeah, how can I forget? There's dissension between the Blackpool Combat Club earlier on the show. Why was there dissension? Why did they hate you? Apparently because, oh, Wheeler Utah interrupted Brian Dan Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares about this schlock? Didn't they fucking just be a team like months ago? And why should we care? Why? I mean, who cares the fuck about this Wheeler Utah guy? Like, seriously. This guy is literally Taka Mishinoku. But he's somehow American and like it's more boring than Taka Mishinoku ever was. Holy fuck. 
Ray Phoenix says any member of the Death Triangle could be a double champion and envisions his brother Pentagon for the world champion and himself as the Atlantic champion. Then Christian Cage and Luchasaurus interrupts. Chris says if anyone is worthy of having a title shot, the Atlantic champion is Luchasaurus. Orange Cassidy says it, uh, shows up and says he will face them both next week. And I don't fucking care. Jamie Hayter fakes Riho, who fucking cares? Like, the fact that Riho, for some reason, was even, like, a thing, or, like, we're supposed to care about this bitch, even though, like, she legit looks like a child. Again, this is why only smart... This is why these smarts are fucking these weird people, because they like little-looking girls, because they're a bunch of pedophiles, they're a bunch of baby rapists. Fucking A. Fucking, especially like again when it doesn't help that all these fucking fans like anime and shit. I swear to God, all these people who like anime, these fucking fat, neck bearded, mongoloid, smart star weirdos. And I swear to God, if you like anime, you're probably a faggot. I swear, I swear. Like, oh, I like a Tucker Titan. I like One Punch Man. I like the Japanese culture. You're fucking weird, then. You're probably the most weirdest fucking guy in the world, and you're the reason why I fucking. You're the, you're the reason why wrestling fan, why wrestling fandom is garbage and why fucking wrestling is garbage because you like fucking wrestling. You want wrestling to be like an anime. And not just that. Th this is why fucking people don't watch wrestling more because of fucking weird people. Weird fucking wrestlers who are a fucking bunch of nerds themselves in the business. The smarts have been in the business. And not just that. It's like, it's not cool. Where are the fucking bullies at, bro? Where the fuck are the bullies at to watch this shit and fucking watch? Like, who the fuck is this fag? Why is this on my TV screen? Fucking hey, where are the cool people at, bro? Next week on Dynamite, it's Billy Gunn's birthday bash. Wow, very wow, very exciting. Renee Young sit down interview with Britt Baker and Soraya because apparently they said, that's not going each other. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Like, what, what's, why they hate each other? I don't care. Darby, isn't that funny already? Fucking Paige's debut is like whatever at this point now. Isn't that sad? It's again, just a one-time thing to fucking give a fuck about. Darby Allen versus Jay Lethal. Apparently, oh, early on the show, Jay Lethal, you know, they're going to find an opponent Jay, uh, like for Darby. Like, why? Who the fuck cares? Isn't this fucking shit already? Like, what's the point of this feud? Why do they hate each other? I don't fucking know. There's legit no reason, like, why they hate each other. I just don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, I'm just like, what the fuck is that, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm doing? In the main event, John Moxley defeats Pentagon to entertain the title. Again, the fact, listen, look, already turn off in this match. Like, we already know MGF is going to face Moxley. What sense will it make that Pentagon's challenging for this match? Second of all, why is Pentagon fucking facing Moxley? What's the point? Oh, it's some ranking bullshit. I don't give a fuck. What's the story here? Can you make shit make sense? How about build to the match? I Like, no matter how redundant, redundant it is, I, but at least it's for a wrestling trope thing. A contract signing, God forbid. You can't say fucking AEW, like, uh, you know, oh, it's hyper... You can't say fucking this, you know, stupid WWE does contract signs when AEW does it before, Okay. God forbid, contract signing, building up to, like, I don't know, combat club versus the firm. I don't know, something like that. Like, isn't that what's, oh, didn't MJF have a fucking group called the Pinnacle and they are no longer, isn't that, like, look how fucking a joke that shit is now. Like, what happened to his, shouldn't that be like a thing, the Pinnacle, the Black Gay ass club? I don't fucking know because they're all fucking gay. Ay, ay, ay. This is why this shit makes no sense. And then the firm attacks Moxley, and then MJ is just very angry. And then they attack him. They attack MJF. Like, they, they act like this is some. We're supposed to care because this is very. They're a great team. I don't fucking know or care. I don't give a fuck about some indie shit. They know they're a former. Because again, Stop pretending, stop fucking, again, you're the fucking second biggest company, and you're supposed to have us pretend to care about some indie shit. Can you, no one has time for that. Can you fucking actually have a story? Shit makes sense. Care about what's going on in AEW. I'm watching AEW for AEW. Not some ROH shit, not some indie shit, not New Japan. Fuck this. How can I for, 
again, early on the show, the only reason why I remember, so basically I fell asleep during this shit, this shit was boring. I actually fucking saw this shit, like, re recapped it online, there was like a full show online, which like, wow, I'm surprised they did that. I scrolled through it, and I see fucking Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston's like, hey, you know, you know, I'm very happy, you know, like, why, why is he so angry for it? We're supposed to apparently be leave this guy so angry and depressed because who fuck who fucking cares? Fuck off! You're 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 no better than anybody. Fucker, get out of here! I don't know. Be depressed elsewhere. You're a fucking a joke. This entire shit is a joke. Why should we care about you? Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out! Oh, I fucking know. Like apparently he likes Moxley. You know, apparently not. Like if you want if you want to fucking be undepressed, I'm I'm sure Moxley would gladly have sex with you because apparently he likes to do gay orgies in the in, in the Indies. Yeah, that would probably make you fucking feel less mentally help, uh, helpful. I don't fucking. I feel bad for Renee though, because Renee Young, beautiful woman. I'm not gonna lie now. She had, like with long hair especially, she has to deal with a fucking faggot at home, who likes kissing dudes in the Indies. Like what the fuck? Jo John Moxley, Dean Ambrose will always be ruined for me now. I can never look at him the same. That's why I could never look at Seth Rollins the same anymore. I'm worried that Roman Reigns will do the same shit, but you know Roman Reigns won't do that because he actually is a fucking man. He's actually a fucking man. He's actually not. This, he's, come on. Fucking A. All these fucking dudes, I swear, these indie people are fucking faggots. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, this whole firm shit makes no sense. MJF being a baby face and heel at the same time makes no sense. Like, what sense does this make? And I'm and on top of that, boring matches with no stories, a bunch of work rate. Who gives a fuck about this whole technical work rate bullshit? Can you actually fucking actually have character? And can you actually actually look like a wrestler and act like a wrestler? And don't just do do gay looking flips and kicks, false finishes every fucking time. Fucking stupid long boring matches with no reason at all. Can you actually have time limits? Why every that match need to be a boring ass long match where there's nothing to care about? You know, all these fucking cold matches are dumb. Fucking A. Fuck wrestling, man. Fuck it all. I'm done. I'm tired. Fuck dynamite. Until next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Not good at all. Fucking A. Gotta speak the truth there.